Gentlemen, hello, welcome to the Alpina press conference here at Geneva. Andreas Bovensieb, one of the owners of Alpina, will present for extraordinary models in the next few minutes. Hi, Andy. Hi, Mark. Dear ladies and gentlemen, also a warm welcome from my side. First question, how was the year 2011 for Alpina? Was it a good year? For Alpina it was really one of the best years ever. We sold 1,200 cars, 1,200 cars built to customer order with very unique interiors. So it was really a good number for Alpina. The next question, is there still a market for such powerful cars as we see here in times uh, where we really pay a lot for fuel? Yes, of course, uh, Alpina is known for best-in-class fuel consumption and the high performance market. And we have a new car here, the D5. This is the best example. It's a Swiss premiere of the BMW Alpina D5 Touring. The one that we see on our left-hand side in the Touring version in Alpina Blue. Indeed, yes, it's a Touring in Alpina Blue on the left side. It's a high-performance car with 350 horsepower and even more impressive 700 newton meters of torque. And you wouldn't believe that the consumption combined is only 6.2 liters for the Touring. It still be received yesterday. 6.2 yeah. liters when coming from Buchloi to Geneva. That's really amazing. And so we weren't, we weren't so surprised when the British magazine Autocar voted the BMW Alpina D5 the best saloon you can buy in the real world. The real world means where you have to pay for your fuel. The real world, yeah. And we have a movie with uh, the D5. And the B5 
five here on our left hand side and your right hand side, they, they look like ordinary business cards. So they stand for understatement. And when I look at these two cars, they look really spectacular. What about these? Of course, the uh, V5 and the V5 are pure understatement, but we have some cars for emotion too. Look at the B6 in the brand new Alpina blue color. It looks absolutely great with nicely integrated carbon fiber splitter in the front and carbon fiber ring in the rear and an exhaust system out of titanium. So the car is impressive outside and inside. And by the way, it's one of the fastest Grand Turismos with a maximum speed of 320 kilometers. And I experienced, if you go in this car really fast, there's hardly any car you can, you can go so fast and stay so relaxed. You have to try it, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's up to you. Did you give me one? Do you have the key for me? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, after the press conference. <laughs> Thank you very much. In the meanwhile, we can watch a uh, video to the B6, brand new B6. The V6 by Turbo's interior offers endless scope for individualization. Customers personally decide over the design, the color, and all the details down to the last stitch. And it's not only about design and sound, it's about performance. So BMW Alpina V6 accelerates from 0 to 200 in just 12.4 seconds. Its acceleration ends as a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. That's really amazing. And Andy, what else can you tell us about the interior of the beast? Okay, especially this car is a completely handmade interior. Look at the nice Mesa and Alcantara combination, combination with cross stitching. Yeah, it's really, really nice to feel it. It's very unique. It's Alcantara leather? Alcantara and leather in the combination. Perfect. The last question, what kind of car is this here? Is this a brand new Alpina race car? It's not our race car, but really it looks like our race car. But this is a very limited model of the new BMW Alpina E3 GT3. This is a car limited to 99 units to celebrate our victory in last year's GT3 championship. More than half are sold, so more than 50 units are sold right now. Only a handful for Switzerland, but uh, yes. We have uh, a nice video when Dino Lomadi, our GT3 race driver, has driven the car two weeks ago. In Slovenia, a B3 GT3. <laughs> elements in the B3 GT3 to give the car a really special feel. As a special option, the B3 GT3 is also available in the official Alpina GT3 race car design from the B6. This is achieved by means of a full body vinyl wrap on the basis of a black paintwork. We developed an exhaust system together with Akarpovic and saved 11 kilograms. We achieved a great sound and 8 horsepower as well. L'équilibre de la V3 GT3 est parfait avec un comportement neutre lorsqu'on l'emmène à la limite. Son moteur puissant et coupleux en font une bête de course pouvant être utilisée quotidiennement. Surprise, surprise, here he is, Dino Lonardi, the GT3 champion! <laughs> Hi, Dino. <laughs> Good morning.
like to have you here. What can you tell us about this car? Is it amazing? Yeah, yeah, the B3 GT3 is an amazing uh, sporty street car. Um, for a driver like me, um, it's very. Uh, sorry, this is the emotion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's better, it's better on the wheel. <laughs> With the canterbury suspension, fully adjustable, uh, the fully adjustable, and the, the front splitter, the rear wing in carbon fiber, which increase the the downforce of the car. It's a dream for a dream for a driver like me. Um, it's really a race car, but for everyday use. It's a race car, but for everyday use. Wow. And any question to you? And the season is just before starting. What are your plans? Do you have enough plans for the season 2012? Yeah, of course, we won last year's championship against hard competition of Audi R8, Mercedes SMS, and so on. And this year it will be even competitive with McLaren entering with four cars. So, but again, we like to fight for winning the championship, and we have a strong teammate for Dino. It's Maxime Attal from Belgium, who is the son of our Belgian reporter. He's a very strong driver. So, Dino, what do you think uh, from Maxime and from uh, to win the championship this year? Do you think this will be possible? Yeah, I'm very happy to to have Maxime like a teammate because he's very strong, and uh, we expect to fight for the final podium uh, at the end of the season. Um, and we're looking forward to the, the first meeting at the end of March in Washington. And the last question, is uh, this B3 GT3 just available in this Alpina gray screen? No, of course, this is for the collectors, for the real collectors, they can get it in a vinyl wrap and gray screen. Beneath this is a black car, but it's also available in white, in Alpina blue and black. So it's up to customer's wishes. So you can still you can get this car in an understated version. Very good. Something for me. Thank so, you very much, Dino. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you very much. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please come closer. Have a glass of champagne and have a closer look at our cars. Thank you.